For display 1 on the left side we have HDR on with the SDR slider at max. With display 2 on the right side we have it on regular standard SDR mode. Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today I'm going to show you the differences of what HDR mode on makes to the Alienware AW3423DW. For a much greater depth from the peak highlights to that color brightness to get an amazing eye popping image, HDR on is needed and we'll be covering it in today's video. Let's get into it. And friends, before we begin, feel free to check out the playlist as I have many Alienware videos to help you make an awesome buying decision from a monitor menu, full walkthrough, to Doom HDR gameplay, among other games and applications to help you make an awesome buying decision. And hit that like so more people can see it. And subscribe if you want to see more Alienware AW3423DW ultra wide gaming monitor videos. Thanks guys. So I have both of them running side by side as I recorded them with the same camera settings to show you the real differences. So one is not overexposed or underexposed. You can easily see with the blue and red lasers on the left side with HDR mode, it is way brighter and more punchier. Here with Master Chief's helmet, you can see the LED lights are eye popping and the stars look amazing with the HDR mode on. Remember friends, this is SDR content, but HDR mode on with the slider all the way to the max makes your regular SDR images with an increase of brightness and picture punch. I always go for eye popping images and with HDR mode on with SDR content, that's how I leave it always. But you can see in SDR mode, it still looks great with the OLED technology. It's just that in SDR mode, to me, it's comparable to every single monitor that I have right now here on the channel. This QD OLED monitor does not blow them out of the water, even with the OLED technology, in my opinion, in SDR mode. But put it in HDR mode, the SDR content looks amazing. Now, if you put it on actual HDR content, forget about it. The QD OLED wins easily every single time. If you guys saw my Doom gameplay video, that was in HDR mode. And you can see right here with the peak highlights of the moon going up, it is brighter in HDR mode, but in SDR content. Again, friends, what I'm trying to show you here is SDR content, basically normal content, looks better with HDR mode on and the slider to its max. Now, if you don't want awesome, bright, popping HDR-ish images, keep it on SDR mode. And if you're happy with it, that's great. But I'm showing you here the differences of what this QD OLED technology can provide you. Now, in every single scene here, you might even say, well, the HDR mode looks a little bit washed. It is not washed. I'm showing you here brightness difference. It is colorful. The color pops more with HDR mode on. You really need to see this technology in person as the camera can't really do it justice. OLED technology with that vibrant color and this amazing brightness in HDR really makes this monitor stand out versus the competition. I find playing an HDR mode on any game to be looking amazing and that depth of the picture of OLED technology really brings to light what we've been missing out all this time. You can see here friends with HDR on, everything looks much more vibrant. There is no color wash, there is nothing of that. It just shows the nits power of this monitor in SDR mode with SDR content, you can see every single time the left image looks brighter. To me, it looks deeper, brighter, more colorful. And that's because that's what brightness does. QD OLED technology can get bright enough and bring out those colors. While on other types of OLED technologies, it will get bright, but it'll wash out the color. That's the main difference with QD OLED. And remember friends, what you're seeing here is all SDR content. It makes your SDR content brighter and better. If you want that punchy, impactful image, and that's what I go for always. And that's why a 16x9 4K Samsung S95B is gonna look amazing. I can't wait to experience that. And I can't wait to versus that against mini LED technology as honestly, I prefer more than anything mini LED technology. I love it. I have it on the QN90A and QN90B and that QN95B with the amazing slim bezels and that one connect box. It's really gonna be out of this world. But you can see here, when the screen is almost white or has a lot of clouds or it's really whitish, they look comparable. QD OLED and OLED has its limits. And in a pure white scene, mini LED or LCD will win. But look here at the tunnel, the one on the left looks a lot brighter than SDR mode. This is the power of HDR and how it'll lift all your brightness, give you that amazing depth of a picture. It really is cool to experience. You can see here with her face, everything looks brighter and better in HDR mode. So again, friends, 
you really need to experience it. If you have this monitor or you're getting it, enable it and disable it and see what fits your content. Look at right here with the GPU mix that I have. Look how much more vibrant, vivid, deep, colorful, and brighter the HDR mode makes it look. It's really amazing to see. And it is drastic on certain scenes. I'm not saying you're gonna get these results in every single thing you put on it, but I would say 70% of the time you would. And remember, in HDR mode, forget about it. It destroys everything in real HDR content. Try it with SDR. Try it with HDR with SDR content and try it with true HDR content. Oh my goodness, you have so much to pick from and it'll blow your mind. You can easily see here, the brightness does make it look way better, much more colorful. The same settings, friends. There is nothing changed here. The same settings. The camera and monitor have the same settings. The only difference here is HDR mode off or on with the SDR slider maxed to show you the real true power of what this monitor is capable of. Now friends, before I leave, I will leave it here in slow motion so you can really see it with the stars, with Master Chief's LED lights and various pictures and scenes here so you can really take your time and appreciate that color pop. This monitor is awesome. You will not regret getting this amazing QD OLED technology. So friends, just showing you the differences to help you make an awesome buying decision. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on a future QD OLED ultra wide gaming monitor video. From Alienware or Samsung, stay safe out there and I'll see you guys next time.